Welcome back everyone. If you just bought your iPhone 12, you may be wanting to know how to restart your RAM or just reset the RAM on your model. So this will work not only on the iPhone 12, all of them, the 12 Pro, 12 Pro Max, 12 Mini, but also the 11 Pro and even the iPhone 10. So what we want to do is pretty much make our way over to our settings app right here. And we want to go down to accessibility, which is right down here. So click this. You want to go and click on touch which is this option and again these are for ios 14 if you're on a different ios version it may not you know be this exact way but you want to click touch you want to see up top where it says assistive touch you want to go and click there and you want to go ahead and turn on this first option so what this will basically do is if you look right here you have this little circular little option right here that means you're pretty much almost there you're pretty much set so what we want to do now is we want to make our way over to our power off menu. So basically how we get there typically is holding down the volume up button and the power button and then eventually it'll pretty much get here. But we don't want to do that. If you see the emergency SOS, we don't want to be on this option. What we want to do is be, we want to be on the option where we click the volume up, volume down and the power button at the same time. So it's a really easy process, doesn't take too much you know, to do. We want to do, and I'll go ahead and show you right now, volume up, volume down and hold up the side button until you get into this panel. Now, if you look, you'll see that we don't have the emergency SOS option right here. That is a very, very good thing. If you see that, you want to make sure you click the volume up, volume down, and the power button again, and then eventually you'll come into this panel. So now that we're here, what we want to do is remember the assistive touch that we enabled. You want to go ahead and click on it, and you'll see that there's a little home button option right here. What we want to do is we want to go ahead and just hold it down until it pretty much restarts this panel. Now, if you have a lock screen on your phone, it'll go ahead and take you to the lock screen. If you don't have a lock screen like I don't, it'll pretty much just bring you back to this page. But obviously, it didn't work because if I open up the settings app still, it pretty much takes me exactly where I was. So we're going to do it again. Volume up, volume down, power button brings us here. Now we want to hold on this home button until it restarts and as you can see it just restarted. Now if I go ahead and open up the settings app, you can see it takes me back into the beginning. So that pretty much means it works. And if I go back into any other app that I just opened, for example, and if I go back to any other app that I opened like the App Store for example, it restarted the App Store too. So that's pretty much how you reset the RAM. A lot of benefits to this sometimes, you know, if you go ahead and, you know, have an issue with apps not opening or they're not loading or something like that, or an app is being buggy, sometimes resetting the RAM can actually go ahead and do you wonders and you won't even realize it. So that's really pretty much it. If you guys have any other questions or anything, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that means so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. Every single subscriber that we get really does count. So it means so much if you guys can hit that. Also check out the other links down in the description as well. My Twitter, my Instagram, my other channels. More importantly than everything, also love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.